Good afternoon, more Medic One. Today, we're going to talk about voltage regulators on these small engines. Uh, this is one off of a Briggs and Stratton. You have the two AC leads that go into the voltage regulator from your stator and then your, your plus positive to the battery. Uh, Briggs and Strattons are pretty simple. Uh, the Caddis is one for a Kawasaki. You've got, like, just like the Briggs, you've got two inlets and an outlet. You got AC here, AC here, and B positive coming out. Also, you have a Kohler voltage regulator. It's the same way. You got AC in, AC in, and B positive coming out. The way that I test these is with a voltage regulator tester from Kohler. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, you just basically plug it into 110 volts and uh, you turn the machine on. And what you do, you take your voltage regulator and the leads coming out of the machine here, you want to go B positive, red, AC, and AC, and then hook up your ground wire. Flip the machine on and it's automatically going to go to the default high. When you get ready to test it, you're going to hit the test button and it shows that uh, this voltage regulator is good. It's a little bit different on the Briggs and Stratton. I've actually got two Briggs and Strattons here for you. Uh, I've actually made up this little connector right here. Uh, off of the engine side. I'll just go ahead and plug it in so it will be easier. These are your two AC leads from your tester. You're going to go AC and AC and be positive we're going to take a jumper wire like this And then we're going to jump it to the positive or the B plus on the tester. And oh, don't forget to hook up your ground wire. Hit the test. And as you can tell, that one's showing high, which means it's got a very high impedance, uh, possibly shorted out. Uh, there is a uh, there's a low, a good, a high, and short. Uh, really, don't I've never had one say short, but I've always had one read high or low. But uh, just to show you, I'm going to go ahead and hook up another Briggs and Stratton one, brand new out of the box. So you won't think that this tester is funky. Here's a brand new one right here. Going to go B positive. We're going to hook up our ground. And then we're going to hook up our connector again. Hit the test button. And that one's good. Same way with uh, Cobra, which this one's designed for. This one's actually bad, but I'll test it to show you. Unhook your Brick and Stratton tester from this one. And right here. Hook up your ground. AC. AC. And B positive. Tester. And that one's also showing high. So if you have any questions on how to test voltage regulators, uh, you can test these on the machine while they're running, but you have to have a DC shunt and uh, all kinds of old school ways of doing it. I like doing it this way. It's a lot easier, but uh, 
Kohler voltage regulator tester. I don't know what the uh, manufacturer part number would be on that, but I guess you could Google it. But it tests Briggs and Kawasaki and Kohler and pretty much any voltage regulator that you could come across. But um, if you have any questions, let me know. More Medic One. Y'all have a good day.